Hello everybody and welcome back to Frostpunk, to the crevice where last time we managed to get through the first of the storms. Now we are, and then we managed to set up a load of our things to make it so we were a bit more hopeful because I did have an issue with hope for a moment there. But we've also got our second automaton, so both of our external areas like this and like this are being run by automatons, so I don't need to actually get them nice and hot. Everything else can kind of be sorted out on its own. I'm going to now just uh, set ourselves up to look after ourselves. And if we look here, we are at level 3 steam, but we have still got a surplus of coal, which is something that I did not think would be the case. At the end of the last episode, I promised that I would make some of these guys a bit more... Um, some of these colder places warm, so that's what our target is in the next very, very short while. I'm actually going to do this for now and try and get ourselves as many of as much of this as we can get. I'm gonna drop these guys off and put them into there for now, just because I need a lot more coal in order to do pretty much anything right now. And the because the main thing is I want to is I want to make some houses because we've now got to level three in terms of heat, which is very good. But we just need to make sure that these houses are nice and toasty for them all. And it's going to be harder to do that when they are in the in the winter, which is a difficult one. I know that we are not technologically doing anything at the moment, but that is because of other reasons. Houses, we are focusing on getting the houses. We're down to a very low temperature. And once this is done, we're going to use that immediately to make sure that we are looking after as many people as we can. And then finally, we're going to go for house there. So these people should be able to be nice and toasty and don't need to go anywhere cold. We're going to focus our efforts there. And then here we can start to think about, if I go for heating, I could go for a lot of this stuff. We're not too far away from that. We've got a lot of this sort of stuff. I feel like automaton integration, given that we are now relying quite heavily on automatons, could be good. Um, oh, we're going to study an automaton. Oh, just the engineer won't be able to work for a while. That's fine. Our plan is going to be to actually build one more automaton for now, which should be a good boost in the right direction. Um, I don't know what it's going to be quite. Where are these freezing people? Where are you going? Who, where are you? You shouldn't be freezing. Most of the stuff, you can spend your entire days very much close. I promised warmth. Okay, I managed to build the ones, but then it was just too chilly, which is fine. Chili's not too bad. I can deal with chili. We are folks fighting on many fronts right now. <sighs> if I look through here, I don't think any of this is that good. Um... A foreman. I could go for a patrol. I, having patrol is quite a good one. Because it means I could do this. But I do need some food rations. I do need to start thinking about my food. Because that is, I think, one of the problems now. I could actually put an automaton over there as well. But for now, we're focusing on just getting through this winter. Which I think we will be able to do. Which is good. Um, nice. Keep everybody working. See, look. 15 and 15 is not impossible to deal with. More automaton integration is always a positive. Kind of want to build one as soon as I can, though. What's this saying? Yeah, give him the automaton. Which one's actually stopped working? Is it this one? No, it's this one, isn't it? Yeah, that's not currently working. That's absolutely fine, because I was about to build a new one anyway. Building a new one is very important for us, because then we can actually have this other one back there. And I feel like in the long run, this is a very good idea. How is this doing? Oh, the workday is up, so we're not actually finishing it. Look at how blizzardry this is. But I feel like we're actually going to be able to be fine and keep pushing through. Nice. We've only got... We've come out of this win this this one with not much actual illness. Suddenly, I say this. What's happened there? That seems insane to me that that suddenly happened. Um, what did I want to do? Food, health, and shelter. Maybe a cookhouse installation is one to go for. Maybe I should go for the industrial hothouse, actually. Yeah, definitely should go for the industrial hothouse. I'm hoping that during the night, this is the problem. Zoom this back up. Nice. Well done. What problem did we have this time? Brittle steel. I'm going to need more steel for everything. Fine. I can deal with brittle steel. And your automaton is built. You're going to go in here and make me all the steel I can possibly need, which is very, very good. I was about to say, I feel like in the long run... Okay, first and foremost, these guys need to head out. Stone obelisk, fine. You guys can head to the lying rock. The rock where everyone lies, it sounds like. Meanwhile, we're going to go for this setup, and we're going to go for the upgraded one there. We finally have got food coming in again, which means I can immediately use these methods to um, get ourselves the food rations that we need. 
People are eating them very quickly initially, but that's fine. Um, keep working. We will find a steam core later. Yes. Steam cores are going to be very, very helpful for us. Uh, Book of Laws. Coming down here, I feel like I could go for some of this stuff. Like maybe getting a um, prison could be helpful. Propaganda Center does give us a lot of hope. And a foreman does mean we could increase the workspace is here. Um, maybe. But for now, I don't think I actually need to do either. I just had a thought for a moment there, but I'm going to leave it for now. Currently, we are focusing on these kind of areas. Got a lot of coal, which is interesting. Um, our, currently, our production of coal, production of coal seems to be interesting. I'm thinking... About to say, do I just go for this upgrade? I think I just go for the upgrade, don't I? There. In terms of food, we are doing all right. People are starve hungry, but they're not getting stuck in a situation that is completely appalling. We do really just need to focus on getting. Once we get to seventy-five, we will kick off our thing here, which is good. Nice. Hoping that we can get some steam and steam cores from these guys. Bring them back and get things up and running. Good stone obelisk, frozen lake, and make mace rock. We're gonna go to mace rock just because it's the one I saw first. Good. This is all feeling very nice and very strong. Do I have this guy back? Oh, I do. Good. So all of our materials should just continue to increase at all times. That is important for us. Um, I could go for a workshop there. Let's get this up and running. We are focusing on a bit of a heat situation. Nice. Fissured rock and unfinished construction. An unfinished construction sounds like the place you're going to get steam cores. And that is genuinely the main thing we need right now. Because that's just the one thing stopping us from expanding massively. What's this saying? Oh, a watchdog. Good. Um, I do feel like we are running like I need more food. I'm thinking, do I have people? I currently do feel like I have enough people to sort this out. We're mostly just gathering a lot of coal at all times. But if I could get... If I could think about more automatons, maybe, to do a few other things, it would be smart to turn them on if I could. Difference engines have been researched. Good. Uh, I could go even go for coal mining rationalization. Um, or I could go for another additional scout. That could be good. Uh, medical automatons means that I could use them in infirmaries and medical posts, workshops and factories, and they can even be better there. I feel like a steam-lined one is better. Or maybe if I go for heating, I could go for the efficiency upgrade. Both of, All of this efficiency is actually good, because then I can eventually go for the top-level um, heat, and we should be fine. Oh, I love the fact that even at three times now we're getting food. Which is good. Well, no, we're getting all of the other stuff. The next one would be to get food. What's this going to head to? We've made it to Mace Rock. A column of crawlers and a huge crate. What's a column of crawlers? Uh, I feel like um, send scouts here. Yeah, let's go there. Let's go and look at that. That should be fine. And I feel like we've not got too much discontent. Oh, I do need rations to make them work, though. That's an issue, I think. Um... But it's one we can we can hopefully deal with. I was about to say, maybe an automaton on that is smart. I could take off an automaton on something. Maybe if I take off the automaton there and put one onto there. Gives us some people, but it also means that we're constantly producing food. Come on, we should be producing so much food. Right? Come on. Currently, we've got no one in here. We can actually get people working in there to keep give us the stuff we need. Okay, I'm hoping that this is going to be a way of keeping us getting food. An unfinished construction. Um, a buried dreadnought again. Oh, is this the same one that we were looking for? I don't have. I don't really want to go for that. I don't think I can right now. That'll be my next target. The column of crawlers, coal and steel, and another buried dreadnought. I don't really want to go for it. We're going to go for the huge crate. Come on. A load of stuff is being said. Hope will rise. He sent a letter. My workers asked me to live this. They're plain people, so it reads like bad poetry. Hey, thank you. The automatons. People are liking that. We found some of these hulks, which is what this is all saying, yes. 
Don't think it's really the right time to be doing this, but this is good. Look at all of this consumption. Good. Move it in the right direction. Could even go for some steam hub increases. Uh, is that the best thing to do, though? About to say, so much stuff here could be upsorted and all of this. A house redesign means it's going to be cheaper. I don't really care. <sighs> Heating, exploration, maybe an additional scout or maybe some of this stuff could be good. Um, an additional scout, maybe. Or do I just go for the top level? Let's just get the top level up and running. There's no real point not to. I feel like I am really doing smart things. Getting the automaton on here is good. We really just need steam cores wherever they are. Um, yeah, let's feed everybody. We are getting there. So I feel like this is important. And the fact that this guy is able to keep moving constantly is amazing for us. So it means overnight we're going to get a whole load of raw food being produced. And we can kind of keep ourselves moving from there. About to say, there is this body count. A single body is in there. That was the person I overworked right near the start. He should have a statue built for him, I think. If I look at consumption, I'm still ahead. It just is dropping a lot every day. Um, I feel like maybe if I go to resources and a resource depot, I could sneak one of these in. Just I feel like it, it's the one problem that we are getting. What? Why can I not build that there? Maybe behind? Maybe behind. Behind seems to make sense. Good. People seem to be eating, which is good. Yeah, we've sorted it. Nice. It's a little bit cold, but yes. Hey, we've got some steam cores. Three of them. Nice. Let's go to the frozen lake and then back home, I think, is the way to go. Oh. I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I'm going to do for coal, actually. And then I kind of want to get one for wood as well. But I need steel. Which is good. Bringing those back means that I can set off for another two automatons, I think. And then we can really focus our efforts. More wood. I'm going to grab some wood and we're going to go to this round rock. A day and two. That's fine. I mean, look, we're at minus 70 and we're actually kind of doing all right. Uh, we've got to the top level now, so I could even go for boosted scouts. We can go for some really good stuff here. I feel like the steam hub efficiency, just to see, because I've got, I am using these steam hubs, just makes the most sense. Food is now looking good. I think I do want to push up food, though. I feel like I just could be getting more. If I have people... About to say, automatons mean I have more people available, and so I could even send them out to scout more. Interestingly, we are also on top of our illness situation, even at this high number. And I could also then get upgrades for the houses, because I feel like we're going to drop down to that 60, that 70, 80. We're going to be at minus 100 for the next storm. I need to make sure we are protected there. The frozen lake, there's an overturned sled. How far away is it? Let's go for the overturned sled and then head home. I'm being very um, optimistic with these guys out and about, but yeah. Nice. We're getting so many resources now, which is good. Hmm. Nice. Steam hub efficiency is going to push this down again, if I look here. Nice. Oh, look at that. Um, shut down the automatons. Shut down the hothouse. We're going to shut down the automaton. We'll be unable to work for the next 12 hours. That's fine. I can get people working in there in the interim. So let's get everyone working in there for now, which is fine. Um, what else could I do? Exploration and industry, I could go for some of this stuff. Increase the abilities, or I could... What's this? They produce even more. Gathering post insulation is good, because that's what we're kind of working our way towards. Or I could even go for some of this stuff. As advanced steam works could be good. Steam coal mine, I would like. But I could also go for the house insulation. Because that will just give us make sure everything is fully heated up as best it can be. Yeah, let's go for that. Nice. I don't think I'm going to find many more people out here. I think we are at the maximum. What's this? Serious accident. Sir, there's been an accident. An automaton stepped on a man crushing him. People argue that somebody should be walked more slowly and carefully, even at the cost of their efficiency. Um, Hope will rise. Uh, you know what? I've got the abilities. I think we're fine. A little bit of hope is good. A supply train and a low hill. Let's go to the supply train. The other guy needs to, the other group needs to head back very, very soon. We've got so much food, uh, which should be fine. Can I turn this back on very soon? I'm hoping. Come on, eat. We've got the stuff for everybody to eat. Hmm. 
But actually, there's nothing I can really do with these guys. Oh, I can dismantle them if I wanted to, if I needed to, but I don't really need to. About to say, are you back to working? You do seem to be back to working. Good, I can do this one and turn this on, and we can put you back into there. Perfect. We're going for house installation, I just feel is the best method. A load of steel. Nice, take the steel and then you can head home. Good, nice. Those extra three is going to be super, super helpful for us. I feel like this is just my, my... I feel like I am in a very sustainable situation right now. Okay, good. You've made it to the supply train. There are survivors. Interesting. I wasn't expecting survivors. Let's escort them back. Yeah, 100%. Okay, cool. We're now going to have to deal with... How many people are you bringing? That's about 32, so I need another few things there. Where's the best ways to expand, do you think? Because I could go and expand in this direction. We could keep working in this direction, although we're getting enough materials for everything already. Thanks to the automatons, I think we are in a situation where we can kind of think about what else is going on. Uh, maybe it's worth us setting up a few other bits and pieces. But I kind of want to go for this direction then. But in this case, then, we're going to need to go for a um, steam hub. Oh, our brittle steel is going to be a problem. They're taking a day and seven, and I feel like this runs out in a day. So we can then just build up our supplies and then build everything we need to build very quickly. Um, I can't... I've never actually... I've not done that yet. That seems weird. I've not done prosthetics. Let's do this. And then let's build one. Because I feel like, yeah, there's no downside to that. Let's do this. Good. The hungry were fed. So that's good. And I can actually build a single thing to look after them house installation is done we are now at full house selection we can get more efficiency we can get more insulation on these things you know what house redesign sounds smart because it just means that i can then build these more houses a lot better i've only just got the letter of thanks from the care home that's genuinely surprising me um this is doing its job at this i feel like once we get these guys back it's either automatons or it's more hothouses. Because now with more people, I think hothouses are kind of an important thing to have. I was about to say, I could go over here. Where this one has already got an area of effect. Yeah, let's try this and see if I can build the houses behind them. Uh, let's wait for this actual... Sorry, let's wait for the house redesign to be done. And then we'll be able to kind of sort this out. With these guys heading back, I think... Yeah, they're both heading back home. I've just noticed that the, the temperature is coming soon. And so, yeah, we're pretty pretty bold and pretty solid. Everyone seems to be happy. There is just one person who's currently hungry, even though there's plenty of food for everybody. About to say, I feel like I could maybe destroy that and then build a, build a house in there. This entire area seems silly to me. The storm is on the horizon. Yep, we're getting everyone back. Don't worry. Which is fine. Back to normal. Good. What? Send guards to silent. We must hold on for a couple more days. Yes, we're raising hope. I'm 100% sure we're going to raise hope. Um, there we go. We're going to raise some hope there. Can we do it on both of them? I don't think we can. But I feel like that is the start on. Give him the steam core. Which is good. And then we are going to focus our efforts on... I was about to say, a guard station. I feel like there is a there should be ways of getting people closer oh there's where we put one nice we also then focus over here on getting our how many people are we getting back a load of people which is good i'm going to need to go here and i'm going to build some houses around the back here uh one two three four five six build all those houses which is very good we're going to build uh, this like so build this along there to there and then I can actually think about maybe going to tech and going to this. I feel like I should go back one further. Yeah, let's go back one further. It should be good. This should all keep this area nice and toasty for us. There we go. This is our new setup. And I feel like I really want to sort out this food selection. Yeah, I think food is the next one to do. And I think back behind this, it will be our method to sort this out. I need a bit more steel. I think I'm going to go for the industrial cookhouse back here. Yeah, I think I think having the industrial cookhouse back here is going to give us a lot of a boost. 
Bit worried that this is now going to be a bit of an issue in consumption. No, it seems fine. I also do want to make, if I go to resources, go to a resource depot. And we can put some of these in, in this area. Nice. What's this being said? The huge success can now be used at medical facilities. I got that research for free. Nice. Um, what is the next thing to do? The heating. I could go for the top upgrade. I could go for the range upgrade. Do I go for the top upgrade now? I think so. Because if I look at my consumption, we are just doing well. So let's go for that. Yeah, let's do this. Nice. Perfect. You're st staying here. We're staying at the crevice. The crevice is home. We do need to be gaining some hope if we can. Which is an interesting one. If I can get this involved. There we go. We've got that back up and running. Perfect. Okay, with this set up when we can. I could actually... I was about to say, I feel like we used up all of our steam cores this time building this, which is fine. This, I want to make sure we're getting enough coal. Because we should be able to just continually upgrade our coal production, which is good. How far away are we from getting this number upgrade? We are nowhere near. We're, we're like, we're there. Good. This is going to keep producing for a little while. This is going to be a nice way of getting us a lot of materials. Actually, you know what? This one back here, turn off. I'm going to put the automaton on the better one, because it can, can just keep working. And that's all good. Nice. We've unfortunately left some of these behind. But it's going to be our, our method of our madness here. Which is good. Uh, I can even use this to try and make sure that these guys are not looking well. Are not looking too bad. We are down to 80. How are these houses looking? These houses are still livable when we're at minus 80. That is a scary thing. We're about to go up another power upgrade. That is insane. Uh, I could go for a foreman. Or I could go for some of these other things. A prison or a propaganda centre. I think a propaganda centre would give me a bit more hope. That's the thing that's worrying me anyway right now. So, yeah, that's a good place to put it as any. Right next to the new location. Good, we got this up and running. We're keeping these guys nice and close. But I'm going to leave it here for today. And you're going to have to tell me in the comments below whether or not you believe I'm going to make it through this. Or whether or not I'm going to have to step away and I'm going to just um, lose at this next situation. This next, um, what's the word, it's next blizzard as it were. I will see you then. Ta-ra.